Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Joe Unbroken Bonds video. Today's Unbroken Bonds video, guys, we're looking at my Guzzlord Umbreon deck that I have built here on PDC Joe. I know that Umbreon Hoopa is a pretty good deck too, and I might cover that. I was grinding the ladder with it for a bit today, and I actually ended up playing as a YouTuber. But I want to test around with my Umbreon Guzzlord Greens Exploration deck that I have built here on PDC Joe. Because uh, I do like this deck. I think this deck is kind of fun to play. It might have potential. I don't know. Uh, before we end the video, though, I do got to give the shout out to Card Cavern TCG. Because there's actually a special going on, well, from Friday, as you watch this, it's a Saturday, uh, Saturday, but from Friday to the end of Monday, there's a special on Card Cavern where if you buy something, you can use the coupon code CCTC um, and you get a 15% discount on your purchase when you get something from Card Cavern TCG using that coupon code CCTC. Um, so yeah, from the end of Monday, if you do buy something from Card Cabin TCG, like if you're still looking for Unbroken um, Bonds pack codes, or you're looking for any other codes for whatever set or whatever GX box trainer kit thing that you want to get off Card Cabin, you can use that coupon code CCTC for a 50% discount store-wide too. So it doesn't just have to be PDC Joe codes, everything else that Card Cabin sells on their website. Um, if you put that coupon code into their shop, you get that 50 cent discount and of course when the uh special ends on monday on tuesday you can use code ldf when you buy something from card cavern tcg to get a five percent discount on your order so yeah shout out to card cavern check out that offer put on that coupon code cctc and get a 15 percent discount on the order so let's look at our list here my umbriana guzzlord deck i do like this deck a lot it's fun to play um, and it might have potential looking at it here real quick. So the idea is you want to attack early on with Umbreon with the attack retaliate doing 120 If any of your Pokemon are knocked out by damage from an attack I also have Persian and Meowth in the deck to kind of help us out too. Just pick off some early prizes Well, uh, we kind of get Guzzlord going or once we get to the point where we get Beast and Guzzlord basically uh, Meowth has the attack spell the fun if we do start with it We can do 70 damage to the opponent's active Pokemon so we can knock out a Jirachi and stuff like that we can also knock out other basics or just get 70 damage on the board having a lowland persians empty threat doing 90 damage is really nice too again just to knock stuff out that don't have energy on them on the bench or just bring something up like a dedenne gx or you know even say something like a tapu lele or a jirachi just something that won't have energy on the bench um again we just want to use these nice non-ability based pokemon while we uh, wait to get the beast ring turn and then we get beast ring turns we build up our guzzler gx we build it up for glutton and tyrannical hole glutton can do 100 damage and uh, we take two extra prizes for knocking something out so if we knock out a jirachi with this attack we get to take three prizes if we knock out a uh, tag team pokemon we win the game i think and if we knock out a normal gx pokemon that is not a tag team we take a lot more we take even more prizes we take four prizes for winning so we take oh no we take five prizes for not going to take you not winning the game but yeah we get my point with glutton we get to take a lot of prizes and uh that's the idea is just get a huge jump in the prize lead and then just win the game from there basically with all these dark type pokemon um that's basically it and uh, the way we're going to build up guzzlord is going to be through green's exploration which allows you to search for two trainers and put them in your hand. So you just get double beast ring and then you double beast ring to your Guzzlord. You can't use green though if there's an ability in play. So I've made sure not to run any ability Pokemon. That's why there's no Hoopas, no Leles, no Mars Shadows, no Jirachis in this deck. The only ability Pokemon is going to be Eevee, but Eevee eventually will evolve into Umbreon so that it does not really matter. And I'm even playing this other Eevee from Lost Thunder just to be cautious of not having an ability based Eevee on the bench. So that's it for the uh, Pokemon. I am running the Evelt Hall too for Derail. Don't really need it as an attacker. It's just nice with free treat. Uh, and again, that's basically it for the uh, Pokemon. Uh, let's go into the items now. Three B string, obviously, for Guzzlord. I am playing one energy recycle system. Now, with green, you only get two B string, which only allows you to get four energy on your Guzzlord. So, the energy recycle system, or also with uh, Viridian Forest, we are going to be able to get that fifth energy on Guzzlord. So, that's why we got these two in the deck. Four Nest Balls to get our basics. I'm three, playing three Poke Gears. Again, with no like Lele's, Jirachis, or anything in the deck. Uh, just having three Poke Gears allows us to keep consistency alive for our supporters. And also find green when we need it the most. Uh, one Stretcher. I got one Switch. Four Ultra Balls. Pretty standard stuff. Got three Stadiums. Again, I went over the Viridian. I got Devoured Field. Uh, letting Glutton do 110 is big to knock out a Zapdos. And again, doing 130 with Retaliate is really good. Black Market's in the deck too. Obviously, pretty simple why it's in here. Uh... If they knock out Guzzlord or Umbreon, they're not going to take as many prizes or even a prize at all, which is why we got the Black Market. Uh, supporters, four Lily, four Cynthia. Uh, we got two Guzmas, three Green's Exploration. I might consider running more draw support in this deck 
uh, because again we don't have any like Jirachis or Lele's or Dedenes in here because we can't play abilities. Um, so you want to run like even more draw support and be my guest. It's up to you though. Uh, I'm going with what I got. I am playing some interesting tools. I got two choice bands. Uh, this does allow Guzzlord's Tyrannical Hole and Gulton to do more damage. Uh, but I also am playing Buff Padding, which gives Guzzlord 200... That's not Guzzlord. It gives Guzzlord 260 HP, which is a lot of HP. So giving Guzzlord 260 HP means that Reshizard needs Choice Band to one-shot you. Pigarom cannot one-shot you as easily. It just makes you super bulky and tanky, and it allows Guzzlord to potentially just win the game. Because you Glutton, take your three prizes, and you knock something out of Tyrannical Hole. That's the idea of why we have Buff Padding in the deck. Uh, yeah. For my energy, I got 10, ener 10, uh, t 10 dark energies, because we got the energy recycle system. I got the beast energy for the Guzzlord, just to do that extra 30. Interchangeable if you want to run an 11th dark, be my guest. But yeah, that's it for my uh, Guzzlord Umbreon Greens Exploration deck. Pretty awesome and cool deck I've got built here on PC Joe. I will look at Umbreon Hoopa eventually, too. Uh, there's a lot of other decks to look at first, but I did want to cover this deck. So yeah, it's, uh, go check out the deck here. Alright guys, let's go get some games now with Umbreon Guzzlord. I'm really hoping we get some good matches with the deck. Uh, we'll see what we're up against here first. Up against Reshizard. Oh, that's not going to be too easy in my opinion. We'll see what we can do though. Losing the coin is not a good start. Hopefully though, we can pull something together. See we start with... Ooh, we do get the Meowth start. Okay, we actually do have a good starting hand. I like to see it. I can play anything else down. Oh, we're up against Blounds. Hmm. Okay. We can use Glutton to our advantage. And we can try and bypass his Beast Ring turn. Which I like. The 70 damage we do with Spoil the Fun 2 can also set up the Blacephalon to be uh, KO'd by Retaliate on Umbreon, which is pretty good. Maybe I should have played DB down. Uh, we'll see if we get Marshadowed here. See if he marsh shadows me. I don't think this matchup's that bad though. Again, if we can get past the beast ring turn, I think we'll be okay. We'll see though. Um, yep, yeah, there's that Lily. Let's see if he plays a stadium so I can maybe bump it with Black Market. That'd be pretty good to do. Okay, there's Ultra Ball. Is he gonna get Marsh Shadow? He might just try and get more Poi Pulls down. He's playing Charizard in his deck. Oh, okay. Interesting. Weird flex, but okay. Double Levy is good to see. I can play down the Black Market now. But again, I don't like playing Black Market down very early on in the game. Because then you kind of negate your Beast Ring turns. Not a good idea. There's Guzzlord. No supporters. Are you serious? Oh, we're going to have to spoil the fun for 70. And if it KOs me here, we knock him out of Retaliate. We can also Ultra Ball for Persian. Get some more damage on him if we need to. Bit of a doozy of a hand. No green. That's one of the issues with this Guzzlord Umbreon deck. When you don't get green for Guzzlord, it is terrible. Like, it's terrible. You kind of see how it's uh, not helping right now. That's one of the problems with this deck, obviously, is just when you don't have green, you can't do green for B-string, so things can go bad. Uh, let's see what he does. He might just go burst here. Like, he doesn't need to knock out Meowth. It's not really posing a threat for him. Maybe we can try to set up a play where we knock out Naganado. With uh, Umbreon and Retaliate and uh, Devoured Field. Ooh, he had to discard a Poipole. That's not bad. More energy, that is bad. Yeah, it won't. Get an Umbreon army going. I would bench Guzzlord and try and build it up here. And maybe I should. I don't know. Uh, we do have a triple Umbreon setup though, which is pretty good. I do like to see it. I think we just spoil the fun for now to him for 10. And we can knock him out Retaliate, which is good. We might have to start building up Guzzlord early. Not while this thing is in play. He could easily just come out of nowhere and knock me out here with uh, Burst. It's just we need a green and we're golden. If we draw green, we can build up Guzzler. We got Pokegear in the deck. 
One of the issues with green is you can't do Lele for it, right? You can't Lele for green because you can't do Lele. You'd have to like, Lele... I don't even know if Power Plant counts. Maybe Power Plant cancels out Lele to let green work. I actually haven't tried that yet, but maybe that could be a thing. But then you'd have to play like four Power Plants in this deck if you want that to work. Looks like actually choosing not me on the Canada, which is fine. Obviously, he doesn't want Blacephalon to go down. But this thing is going to be open for a Glutton KO now, which is good. Okay, what do we draw? Lily. Alright. A little early, but I think it's a good time to start playing Guzzlord down. Um, I guess we'll get rid of the two Darks. I don't like doing that, but we have an Energy Recycle system. I do want to also thin out the deck here. I'm not going to play Black Market down because I don't want to have it. Can we get a Varric Field maybe? No. You get Viridian though. Get another Meowth down for Persian. We have Guzma for next turn, so we can still knock out Blacephalon. Got 10 HP left. So the Blacephalon is open for Glutton, which is like the main thing. I might even just knock out Charmander next turn, to be honest with you. But I kind of do want to save the Guzma for when we glutton this thing. I don't know. Maybe it is best to knock out the Charmander here. If he gets the Charmeleon down, I might. Oh, he's actually going to retreat into Charmander. Does he have Rarikini Zard? Because that's the Charmander he just played down. Unless he has a Guzma here to, like, Guzma Guzzlord. Not going to do much damage with Naganadel, though. Now we just Guzma out of it, bring out Charmander. Oh, he's going to do a Kiawe. Uh-oh. He's definitely going to try and do Guzma then. Is there any way we can knock up Blacephalon here? I don't think there is. Ooh. Got buff padding. He's gonna obviously have Guzma in his hand to knock out Guzzlord. We gotta be ready for that. We play the buff padding. We force him to get rid of, like, a lot more energy. We can also try and be safe, play this down. I can Cynthia now just to try and... Get another Guzzlord set up ready. That works. Alright. We have the safekeeping. If he knocks Guzzlord out, we'll still have three prizes left to go. And we can still do Beast Ring if he does have the Kiawe. Or the Guzma, sorry. We do have Beast Ring too for next turn. We just don't have green in our hand when we need to play it. course. If he bumps my stadium, don't know what to tell you. So the good news is we have to make him get rid of even more energy because um, the buff padding, he's only going to take one prize too, so it's not too bad that he's KOing me. It is unfortunate, but it is possible to blow up another Guzzlord. If we can draw a green here, we can go in with another Guzzlord and we can knock him out Glutton. So let's see us draw the green. Come on. Green, 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 green. Beast energy is not bad. Knowing that we can't hit our green when we like need it the most, but whatever. This game does not want to work sometimes. So we do... We do Lily for six. We have to put all the energy back. Rip. So we can put out two of those, so we can still send the deck out. I can knock him out with Retaliate if it comes down to it, but I'd rather glutton him, take the four prizes. Alright, come on, B-String, don't fail me! <sighs> Again with the B-String whiff! Oh my gosh. We actually whiff B-String. Okay, well. Ah, the change of plans. Again. We've used all our lilies. Wow. Okay, well, he's got to hope he doesn't bump the stadium. He's not going to take a prize for carrying me here. 
There's a green. Would have been nice for last turn. That's fine. Uh, Guzzlord might not go down this turn anyways, unless you like rare candy Charizard Guzmas. As long as it's by my stadium, we'll still have B-String activated. I can't believe we were one B-String short of KOing him with Glutton. That's a shame. Not the end of the game, though, obviously. We can still go Guzzlord. If he doesn't take a prize this turn, we're still in the game. You can kind of see, though, the weakness of the deck. It does whiff... Um, it You can whiff your B-String turns, you can whiff your greens. And that's why, like, the Ninetales Lele version is better. Uh, because with Nine Tails, you can just go Nine Tails for B String instead of having to like green for B String. So there's a couple things that can go south. I don't know. I am trying to show off Green's exploration's potential in a deck like this. Um, just unfortunately, we weren't able to find any way to pull off a green that turn. So it, it can happen. It can happen. So it's not the end of the world. There's a Guzma. That's going to cancel out my B String. Oh, never mind. He's not gonna KO me though, this is good. Alright, we can uh glutton him here. We can't heal. Okay, well green for B string and I'm thinking. B string and maybe. Um what else would we need? Like I don't know, like, maybe switch? No, actually, we'll get the other Guzma. We'll just have both Guzmas in our hand. I like that. Okay, so we can knock him out Glutton here. Um, I'm gonna build up for a Clutch if we ever need it. If he doesn't have Charizard, Guzzlord is safe. So we can take our prizes. So finally, we're showing off the green combo, and we pretty much win at this point. We have Devoured Field, so if he goes I would Charizard, we have Guzma anyway, so we pretty much win. He'd have to, like, double Charizard, but even then, we have Devoured Field Guzma with Umbreon. He'd have to, like, Marshadow me, too. He'd have to do a lot to prevent himself from losing this turn. So we got to show off the deck here. Uh, one turn too late doing Glutton, but we still did Glutton with green regardless. And as you can see, it's a pretty good combo. It's just you have to have the cards in the right time to pull it off. So it's a bit of a trade-off. There's an Ultra Ball. He got rid of a rare candy and a Kiawe. So we'll see. We'll see if he KOs Guzzlord here. I think he is. So I think he has the Guzzlord KO with Charizard. But again, we have the Guzma Umbreon play. He'd have to Marshadow me here too to secure the win. There's no way he's going to double Charizard. Yeah, and that's game. So he's only going to take one prize for KOing me. So he's not even like doing much anyways. And as you can see, the Guzzlord uh, green Umbreon deck taking a dub here against Blacephalon. And not really like a conventional Blacephalon deck. Obviously, he's playing... A deck with Charizard and Blacephalon, but nonetheless, it posed us a threat. He had a turn where he Kiawe to a Blacephalon and had like 400 damage on the board with all those energies. So like he had a scary turn for us and we were still able to come out on top and win the game. We had a pretty threatening board. We had a bunch of Umbreons down. So Black Market Prince Star, once again, proven to be the MVP. Uh, he only had one counter stadium he doesn't even play Heat Factory. Oh, wow. So no wonder why Black Market was able to stay in play so long. He only had one counter stadium. Uh, but as you can see, that's what the deck is all about. Uh, we did do the Guzzlord B-String Green play. Just one turn, like, too late. Still, though, we got to show off the deck, which is pretty sweet. So I'll see you guys in another match. All right, guys. Let's go get into another match with our Umbreon Guzzlord deck. I'm happy we got to have a game where we got to show off the Glutton. Um, you can kind of see how it is a little um, tricky to pull it off because you do have to have like green in your hand at the right moment when you get to your B-string turn. So it can be kind of tricky to do it, but you know what? We showed it off. I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. And uh, we are going to win the coin flip here. We're up against a dark psychic deck. We'll see what kind of deck this is. Um, oof, a guzzlord start. Uh, we have green though, so I guess we can like green... For switch so it's not too bad you can nest ball for meow or evil paul those being in play doesn't mean we still get to put energy on it so it's not bad i guess we still build it up garboder ooh, interesting matchup all right so we'll nest ball for evil paul so he's playing garboder muck the one thing i'm worried about here is him mucking away my um 
Uh, we'll get Meowth. Him mucking away my beautiful B-Strings. That's not going to be fun to put up with. So, we will green for B-String. Green for Lily, I guess. We could just Ultra Ball. I needed the switch, but we're not going to get attacked here. Yeah, the next turn we'll, uh, Guzma, um, knock out maybe a Trubbish or a Grimer here with Persian. I think that's going to be the play. But yeah, seems good. He is playing Shrine. That's fine. We have enough counter stadiums to put up with that. We might have to take a couple Shrine ticks here, though. We have a few items, though, that we might lose. Um... If I could draw a Devoured Field, I can knock out the uh, Trubbish with Persian, but honestly, I'd prefer to maybe knock out Grimer. Just the less mucks he has to pull off any combos is good. I, I can also knock out the other Trubbish, so I have a few targets here. I honestly think, though, it's just best to knock out the Grimers because the mucks are going to be the more pain to put up with. I... Alright, we're not poisoned. Good. The less damage Govzord takes, the better. There's an energy. So Ultra Ball away the energy and the Umbreon. Yep, Persian. Persian's not going to get knocked out either, so we're going to get some good old Persian juice going on. Yeah, I think we just knock out Grimer. I'm not really too worried about Garboder. Uh, we now need a Counter Stadium to get rid of this Shrine, so Guzzler doesn't take too much damage. We'll see what our prize is. There we go. Nice! The Counter Stadium has been activated. Yeah. Knock him out there, see what my opponent can do. Um, Persian can go down if he gets a muck off, and he does discard a couple of important cards. He's playing green in his deck, too. Interesting. It's going to get Devo Spray and Lily. Does he have the Muck in his hand? He would need Muck and Garboder. He needs quite a few cards here to pull off potentially a KO on my Persian. The reason I didn't get the B-String out of the deck though with green, though, is so I don't get Mucked and then I lose my B-String. See what he gets rid of. Nothing. Oh my gosh. Busted. He didn't get rid of a single item card. I love to see it. Nice. Persian lives. We can two-shot him too with Persian. He's not going to kill me here. Alright. Get rid of that annoying shrine. Lily for four. More energy for Guzzlord. We can also get Eevee down. We have Pokey Gear for next turn. I'm not going to play it, though, because the supporter might clog up any muck potential discards. So, I'm not going to play the Poke Gear. We thin the deck out. We give him more access to getting rid of stuff with muck. Alright, there's a Lily for five. Hopefully it doesn't give him the knockout. And then we can knock out Garbota with Persian. No, he can get muck. Hopefully muck gets rid of nothing. Oh no, he can still knock me out, right. No, Persian will still go down to Garp here. That's fine, though. We can uh, kill him with Umbreon if we have to. Or we can poke gear, maybe Guzma, knock out the Muck with Umbreon. There's a few things we can do. Got rid of a Switch and Ultra Ball. Alright, no Beast Strings getting discarded. That's the important thing to see. Alright. Uh, I guess losing the Switch is a little annoying. Why is there an airplane, like, right out my window? I really hope you guys can't hear that. A counter G going on guard, but it looks like he's going with the other guard. And that's fine, that can be gluttoned. And we should knock him out here with uh, Umbreon. Makes it even better. Yeah, it's just pretty good. Alright, what can we draw? Dark and Okay, well, wow. I think we will things. I am looking for a supporter. I don't even know if I have the Umbreon because I discarded one. No, we do. We got it. We good. We good. We good. Uh, we'll Pokey Gear. Got Cynthia. Not gonna play it though because I want. I'd rather just keep the hand for B string plays. I would like the other EV down though, to be fair. But we can knock him out. Take our prize. See what it is. Another Cynthia is pretty good. So Garbodor is doing a decent amount of damage, but again, Guzzlord's resistance to Psychic. And if we get a Buff Patton on this thing, uh, we're honestly gonna be fine. If I can draw a green, that'd be great. I can get Buff Patton on this guy. Another Shine coming down. We need to bump that. It's probably playing at most three shines, maybe two. So next up, we probably want to play down either Viridian or Black Market. Eric for three. Not great for my opponent. And bringing in Muck tells me he doesn't have anything. I could just use this turn to build up Guzzle a little bit more. I 
We're going to take a few more Shine Ticks. If he has a Guzma, he can potentially KO me. I really hope that doesn't happen, though. It's why I hate having Guzzlord in play before we get our Beast Wing Trance. It's just such an easy target for Guzma. I hate having it on the bench. This is one of the things I don't like about this, because you have to play it down on certain turns. Oh, he's de-evolving. Oh, we can knock him out then with Dark Cutter. Wish I had a Guzma right about now, though, too. No, oh, Guzzlord. Now we lose our Guzzlord. Oh, no, it doesn't get knocked out. No, Shrines get knocked out, isn't it? Yep. This is why, guys, I hate having Guzzlord in play. <laughs> so frustrating. All right, now we have our Beast Ring turn activated. I think we just Cynthia. This is one of the issues this deck faces. It's just having Guzzlord in play. It has a target on its back. All right, let's get some Beast Rings going. Nice. I don't even know if I have enough energy. No, I do. Just barely, though. Okay, we're cooking. Uh, we've played a lot of items, though. Maybe I shouldn't have played that Nest Ball. I don't know if he's doing enough damage. At this point, it's fine. Because we have Umbreon to finish him off, too. So, yeah, this game should be about wrapped up at this point. As you can see, Guzzlord Glutton, B-String, Boom, Knockout. Again, having the Guzzlord on the bench is just not fun for us. Because it's just, again, it's an easy target. For the Skuzma plays before it even gets built up. And then you lose your Guzzler, and then there's really no way you can get it in play. But at this point, we win, especially with Umbreon in play. So, yeah. There we go. Boom. Guzzlord Glutton winning us another game. All right, guys. We'll do one last match with Umbreon here. Uh, we, got the, we got the deck working. So, we'll see what we can do and now with the deck. I don't know if we can pull anything else off. Um, both games, we've had Guzzlord in play when we don't want it in play, which is not great for us. But we still... Are able to get the Guzzlord B-String off even when we already lose a Guzzlord early on. So there are, you know, still things for this deck to do. Black Market's definitely helping us out. And uh, we'll see what we can do. It looks like a freaking Zoark. I saw the types there. Zoark is going to be an interesting deck. If they have Lycanroc and Lucario, we're going to be in for a tough time. Do start with green, and we got a Meowth. I think it's just Cynthia, to be honest. Just try and get a better hand going. I could do green, though. Green can get me a couple of nest balls, so I don't know. I would like to get more Eevees down, though, that's for sure. Uh, we'll see if we're going first or second. If we go in second, we get to the fun, and we're not. All right, well, that's fine. We can still attack with Persian. Is it in the deck? It is. All right. We do actually prize a B-string, which is going to be a little tough to deal with. So well, Cynthia, I do want to hold the green. Um, okay, not the worst hand. I think we just pass. We do have green for next turn, or we could do Lily, or we could Poke Gear and try and hit a uh, Cynthia. So we have a few options here as to what I can do. Zoark might be tough though. Lycanroc's gonna be a bit of an issue. We'll see how we do. They might not be playing Lycanroc though, but I saw fighting, and they have to go with a turn one Judge, which is pretty rough for them. Let's see what they get. Or what I get. All right, no supporter. That's fine though. Do have Ultra Ball, so we can knock out the Meowth here with Persian, which is cool. They do get a couple Zorobos off that Judge. Hopefully their hand's pretty dead off of that Judge. That'd be amazing. And nice, we drew a Lily. So we'll Ultra Ball, get rid of Viridian and Energy. I think they can go get another Eevee down. Could get Evolthal too, so we can get rid of those DCEs. We have a few options, but I think we just uh, kind of fill the board up with Umbreons here and just kind of get the Umbreon threat going. Slowking could do a lot of damage to me on my Guzzlord if that ever comes down to it. There's a Beast Ring. Uh, we weren't able to find Persian though, so that's not great. Not getting the Persian KO is kind of unfortunate, but whatever. Whatever. I do like this hand, though. We have the one B-string, so once we find green, we can uh, get things going. Again, it just comes down to finding green in the in the right time. Maybe a second Pokegear is needed in this deck. I don't know. There's a Devoured Field coming down. There's a Tapu Lele GX. Devoured Field's good to see. I like that, actually. Let's me do even more damage with my Darky boys. Let's see if my opponent grabs here with uh, Wonder Tag. They might try and set up a Lily up... Grabbing Lily. Lily for five. 
So the odds that a uh, Meowth gets knocked out is actually not super high, which is kind of cool. If the Ditto doesn't evolve, I can actually knock it out with Derail, which um, I am tempted to do. I'm also tempted just to get a Guzzler down. Uh, they're getting rid of Slow King. They do have Rock Ruff, so that Lycanroc is in the deck, so it's a good thing that that is not coming down. I think we are going to knock out this Ditto then with Evolpal to Derail. Maybe they don't expect the uh, Guzzlord. I think they don't expect it because they got rid of a Rock Ruff there. So I think what we're going to do is knock out the Ditto here with the Veltal, unless they... He can red card me. <laughs> we'll knock out the uh, Ditto here with uh, E Veltal. Unless they... Um, unless they knock out Meowth? I don't know. Because we can still do Retaliate on Zoark, force him to Ace Roller, which they did just lose one of their Ace Rollers, which is good. Ooh, Pokey Gear. So yeah, I think what we do is we knock out the Ditto here with Guzma. Thank you for the free Devoured Field. Just saying. We'll just derail for the knockout. Take our prize. Ooh, we got that B-String. So we can kind of just sit on this hand now because we have the Guzzlord play ready to go. So at this point, I just wait for my opponent to knock me out and uh, hope that they don't judge away this this hand and we're golden. Uh, we can obviously use derail on Zoark, but with triple acceleration energy, not really a big deal to do that. It's not too terrible. We don't really need to rely on derail. And at this point, we can just set up the Guzzlord play. Now, we did lose our free retreater. Maybe I could knock him out with Retaliate instead, but I'd probably rather just take the Evolve Volcano. We'll Pokey Gear. Grab Cynthia. I don't want to play it though, because I do like this hand. There's green, nice. That's what I was looking for. I don't want them to marsh out of me, so I'm a little scared of them doing that. If I do this, we can grab Nest Ball. I can get Stretcher actually, get the Evolve Ball back. Let's do that. Uh, did we play the other Eevee down? We didn't, so we can put that other Eevee into play. I think Umbreon's going to be important to pick off all these other Pokemon on the bench, especially Lele, maybe. Choice Band, Devoured Field, does allow me to do 160, so Lele is pretty going to be pretty weak. Retaliate. 130 damage. Kind of wish I didn't grab Cynthia, because so, this does open the door for like a Marshadow to get rid of this hand, because this hand is just glorious. This is like the best hand we could ask for. Just got to hope we do not lose it, because we have that Guzzlord play ready to go. I hope he just knocks me out with Zoark here. So we can just glut knock him out. Please do it. It's a good thing he's getting rid of his Lycanrocks too. That's like the only big threat. Ah, oh, there's an ace roller. That's fine. We can still knock him out Tyrannical Hole. So that's good. As long as he doesn't play a Rock Ruff down or anything, there's no way he can really threaten me with a Lycanroc KO the following turn when we knock him out here. Palpad. He can get back a couple things. Will he get back Judge though? No, double ace rollo, which is fine, because we still knock him out. Probably he's just thinking I'm playing like an Umbreon Persian deck. Alright, now all I want to see is no fighting types go on the bench, and I want to see him knock me out and not Marshadow just me. That's all I want to see. And there we go. Now we can get the party started, and now the party is going to get started. This is going to be really sweet. Slow King can do a lot of damage to me. It's not going to kill me, though, I don't think. Wish I could put a buff padding down, but... This works too. Well, in fact, we can actually just Cynthia get a new hand. All right. Double B-string. So here's where the fun begins with the deck. So we're about to do some crazy stuff. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Let's go Cynthia. I could have done Lily, I guess, but Cynthia's better. Can we get Buff Patty, maybe? No. No Buff Patty. We'll Ultra Ball away. Ultra Ball. And I guess Switch. Get the other Persian out of the deck. Get ready for if we want to Persian something. And here we go. Tyrannical Hole for the knockout. Unfortunately, we can't knock him out Glutton. But we can still take two prizes. And if he doesn't take out Guzzlord this turn, which is very unlikely, we can hopefully win the game. No Guzma, though. So I don't know. We'll see. But again, Guzzlord can kind of just take a couple prizes here anyways. And then at that point, we just need to Umbreon win the game. A lot of low HP Pokemon on the bench. Perfect for Glutton. Let's see Enhanced Hammers me and Evolves these two. Something like that could happen. So yeah, he can go Slow King if he wants. Well, it's in the discard pile, so that's that might not happen. Unless he plays a 2-2 line of Slow King. He's most likely going to get a Fighting type here. Yep, there's Rock Ruff. Not too worried about Lycanroc, though. If he had the Rock Ruff down last turn, I would have been a little worried. 
All we need to do is just glutton here. And if Slow King won't knock me out, we can just glutton knock out Slow King. Unless he bumps my uh, thing. There's Persian. So what can Persian do? Do Slashback and Vengeance. Nothing too scary. Again, I don't think he can knock out Guzzlord this turn. I'm pretty sure Guzzlord lives. And we just win with Glutton here. So, unless he's playing Enhanced Hammer in the deck. We don't get to see what he grabs, so we don't know if he's grabbing Enhanced Hammer or not. I hope he's not, because then we can't Glutton the Slow King. Well, he might Guzma too. Or did he already do support for the turn? I can't remember if he already supported. The fact that Cynthia's in the Scarpel tells me he already did support for the turn. No, there's a Guzma. He's going to knock out my Umbreon, which is fine. We can still knock him out Tyrannical Hole. Hopefully I can just draw Guzma so I can just win here with a good old Glutton GX. Should bring in Eveltal. Put down an Eevee. Can we draw Guzma? Nope. Do we even have the Umbreon in the deck? I do. Okay, good. Dealing with Ace Roll is not going to be fun though, so we might still have a bit of a hurdle to get over. Man, it sucks we didn't have Guzma, though. Whatever. So we're not going to be able to take the Glutton KO. We just need one more prize to win the game, though. So we're getting very close to winning. Devoured Field. There's a Poke Gear That can find us Guzma, potentially. Even though we have one in the deck. We can also do green to set up Guzma, too. We didn't get back Judge with Palpad. Oh, my gosh. This guy's actually going to counter gain like and rock me. I hate this game sometimes. Anyway. <laughs> That's fine. Guzzlord did its thing. We didn't get to take any Glutton KOs, unfortunately, but Guzzlord still took four prizes, which is still, like, pretty normal for Guzzlord to do anyway, so I'm not too upset. Now what we gotta do is just get over the hurdle of winning the game. Which we can still do. If this thing doesn't evolve, we have the Umbreon win on the board. Potentially. A little annoying that he's gonna knock me out here, but whatever. Guzzlord did his job. It bodied those Zoark GXs. It completely bodied them. They're slow king. Don't really care about that. As long as we Guzma it, we still win the game. It's got 120 HP. We did play our stretcher, so... Umbreon's like one of the only ways we can really knock out slow king. Might be a little scary if we lose it. But if he benches like another Zorua... Persian can also just knock it out. Ori Beltal with Clutch. So we are going to go down here. Actually, he might win the game. Okay, what we need to do is get Guzma to knock out Slow King. Can we find it? We have one Guzma. I can find Black Market, but it's still looking like we're going to lose here if we don't hit the Guzma. Here we go, Pokegear for Guzma. No, every other supporter but Guzma. We got a green. We still just gotta hope he doesn't have game then. I think we just lose. It's just gonna ace roll a knock me out with Zork. So yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, just I really am starting to wish I had three Guzmas in the deck now, I'm thinking about it. Really wish I had three Guzmas in here. This is the best I can do though. I just derail him. That's not going to matter, because he's still going to do Ace Rolla. Eveltal can take a hit from Lycanroc. Claw Slash can't KO me. Unless he drops a Diancie or a Kikui on me. If I derail him, he just Ace Rollas into Zoar. But he's most likely going to have another Guzma, though, to KO me. And win the game. I don't really see how we're going to win this, but... I might not attack him. I just don't think we have a game. I'm just going to make it so that he can't do Ace Rolla. That's my last resort. But he's most likely going to have Guzma DC or whatever. Triple energy acceleration. So we came kind of close to winning. The Lycanroc is super frustrating. There's a Mallow. That might just get him Switch and DCE. So. 
yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to come out on top of the dub here, folks. Uh, we came kind of close to winning the game, that's for sure. Maybe I should have attached an energy here so it doesn't black market. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't think we can win anyways. It's not a big deal. I should have attached the belt all though, but I, I don't really think we can win at this point. He'd have to bench another Zorua or like a Rock Rock. Just something with a low amount of HP that Persian or Umbreon's Dark Cutter can KO. That's the only other way I can see us winning this game. Should have maybe slapped down these choice bands too. I wasn't really like thinking about that. I was kind of just concerned about what to do so that I don't get knocked out this turn. I didn't really consider playing these because he might Marshadow my Guzma away and then we might lose all hope of winning the game at that point. But yeah, if he gets a uh, triple energy DC and a switch off this Mallow for trade, he's going to win the game. So yeah, not great for us. Uh, yeah, maybe that's the issue with this deck. Uh, fighting. Uh, if he didn't have Lycanroc, I really think we could have won because we had Glutton available to us and we were just we were just sweeping the Zoarks until he just counter gang KO'd me, which is I, I'm still ticked off about that. That is so annoying. Um, counter gain is gonna be so fun to deal with in the new format. If he didn't have a 2-2 Lycanroc line, I really thought he only had a 1-1 line. If he didn't have a 2-2 Lycanroc line, I really think we could have won the game. Because, again, Guzzlord was just bodying the Zoarks left, right, and center. We would have won if he didn't have another Lycanroc, or if he didn't have Lycanroc altogether, or if he prized his counter gain. We probably would have won the game with Lycan or with Guzzlord. Guzzlord just sweeped everything. He can't do anything against fighting. There's a DC going down. Ooh. He doesn't have game. Uh-oh. Nice. I don't think we win. Still don't think we win this game. Whoa. Okay, what I can do is I can do this. I can pray that he doesn't have... Um, I can pray that he doesn't have... Um, the Guzma. He might have mallowed for it, though. But. We'll see. He might just bump the stadium and win, though, too. Like, Guzma would not have killed the Slowpoke. If that was a Slowpoke, I would have won the game. So I guess what we can do is derail him. Hope he doesn't bump my stadium or have a Guzma. That's the best I can do. He definitely will have another energy, though. You know, Ace Rolla. So as long as he doesn't bump my stadium, we should win the game. Unless he marsh shadows me and I don't get Guzma. We might be able to win this. It just comes down to him bumping my stadium or not. Well, that would have been nice to see last turn. And we win. All right. Black Market Prism Star saving my hide. Black Market Prism Star saving my hide. That is game. That was a pretty close match. I don't know how I won this, to be honest with you. But that'll wrap today's PCO video, guys. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like on the video, of course. And don't forget to subscribe down the road to reaching 5k subs. We're actually really close to 4,600 subscribers. Um, so that's going to be pretty awesome. Umbreon Gunslord, I do like the deck. We were able to beat a Zoar deck with Lycanroc. Black Market Prism Star just completely saved us there. Without Black Market, I don't think we would have won the game. Um, literally, we wouldn't have won the game. Without that Lycanroc 2, we probably wouldn't have, we would have won the game. We had a few wing additions on the board. But yeah, that's all the video. Make sure to check out Kirk Kevin TCG. And if you do buy something there until the end of Monday, use that code CCTC to get that 50% discount. I'll see you guys in another PCO video. Goodbye.